fall signs are all around us. Hi, my name is Katie from Lady Red Crafting, and today's video is all about making fun fall signs that you can use for home decor in your house. Let's get started with craft number one. So I'm gonna start with this hello sign that I did get at the Dollar Tree, and we're just going to remove all of the tags and next, I'm gonna put this on a paintable surface. I'm using my antique wax from Waverly and we're just going to paint a nice coat of wax all over the top side of this hello sign. And using a baby wiper paper towel, you can just remove some of that wax until it looks like it's nice and stained. And once that's dried, I grab my Waverly paint in the color plaster and I'm just going to do a light coat of paint over the top of the stain. And don't worry if it's not perfect. You don't want it to be perfect. You want it to look a little bit rustic. Next, I'm going to grab my Waverly paint in the color Truffle. And I'm just going to dry brush a little bit over the top of that plaster paint. So while the hello sign is drying, I grab these half beads that I got at Amazon. And I'm going to paint a few of them. And I had a wonderful viewer last month named Dory that suggested that I try this. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm using a piece of painter's tape and I'm just taping it to a board with the sticky side up. And this allows for us to add the beads to the sticky side, keeping them in place so that we're able to paint them without them moving around. So Dory, thank you so much for that helpful tip. I really appreciate it. Now to paint these beads. I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster again, and I'm just going to do a single coat over the top of every one of these beads. So for this next step, I have this cute flower pick that I got at the Dollar Tree and you only need one of these because we're going to take it apart by deconstructing it using our little pliers and we're going to tape these together using some floral tape to make a little swag to go on our sign. So I'm going to let the video show how I'm doing this. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. So now that we have a swag, we need to be able to attach this to our sign. So I'm using a small piece of ribbon from the Dollar Tree. You can use any ribbon you'd like. And I'm just going to attach that right to the center of those two flowers there using some hot glue. And this is going to give us an extra surface for us to be able to attach this to the top of our sign. I kind of feel like a chef here. We have all of our little pieces all ready to go to put together onto our sign. So to start, I wanna attach the hello to the center of this sign. 
And to do this, I'm using my Dollar Tree wood glue and a little bit of hot glue. And this will allow the wood glue time to set by using that hot glue as well. And next, we want to attach the swag to the top of the sign. And it is a little bit stiff, so I'm going to have to glue it in two different spots. We're going to glue right where we bended the wire onto the top center part of that white rim of the sign there. And I'm going to attach that with one of my pink large clips from Dollar Tree. And this will just allow it some time to adhere. Waiting for the glue to dry, I'm going to grab my hot glue and start adding some of these cute little half beads. And I wanted to start by covering up the three seams that were on the rim of this sign. I did not like seeing those and this covers them up completely. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and space these beads out evenly. And with the lines in the center of the sign, it makes it really simple. So we're just matching those up with the lines. And then we just add an extra bead in between the bottom line and the center bead. Let's go ahead and flip the sign over. And remember that piece of ribbon that we attached? We're going to take that ribbon and fold it over to the back side of the sign and then just hot glue that. And wow, I love how this sign turns out. It's neutral and could go with any decor. This month, I have the honor of participating in the Signs of Fall Challenge. This is hosted by Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun, Chantel from Crafty Hints, and Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIYs. These wonderful ladies, as well as the playlist, are all linked below in the description box. Please join me in watching this playlist. On to craft number two. This adorable canvas easel set that I found at the Dollar Tree is the center for our sign. We're going to start by putting this on a paintable surface. Next, I grab one of these fun stencils that I did get at Amazon, and I'm just going to quickly defuzz that stencil. Now we're going to center that stencil straight onto that piece of canvas. And we're going to use our chalk paste with this stencil. I'm going to start with three colors and I use the redesigned chalk paste. I'm going to use Antique Boss, Desert Rose, and Vintage Lace. And to apply the chalk paste, I use a squeegee. I'm going to start by doing the stems first in the moss color. And we're going to use the Desert Rose for the pumpkins and the Vintage Lace for the words. Now that that's complete, let's reveal the sign. And once our sign is dry, I'm going to add this canvas back to the easel. And looking at it, I'm like, hmm, I think that we could do a tiny bit more. So next, I'm going to add a checkered bow to the bottom of this sign. And I really love how this sign turned out. I think the black canvas makes everything stand out so pretty. Craft three and four. For this craft, we're going to start out with this sign from the Dollar Tree. We're going to just elevate it a level. So this is really easy. We're just going to remove this checkered bow and you can save that for a future craft. Next, we're going to remove any extra glue that is on the top of this sign. Now, I wanted this sign to match more of my other decor in the house. And I've been using this ribbon that I got at Walmart. And we're going to add that to the top of this sign. Next, we're going to grab one of these burlap flowers that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to hot glue that right to the center of this ribbon. Now, our mini makeover is complete. On to the next craft. We're going to flip this sign over and I'm using some scrapbooking paper. 
and I'm just going to cut out a square that will fit on the inside square on the back side. And once we have that trim so everything fits in nicely, I'm going to use a glue stick and we're just going to glue that piece of paper on the inside of this square. And if you're still watching, please leave a pumpkin emoji down below. To ensure everything is smooth on the bottom there, I'm using a Cricut tool here and we're just going to smooth out any of the wrinkles in the paper. Next, I'm going to grab one of these wood planks from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take this and put this on a paintable surface. And using antique Waverly Wax, we're going to just paint over this square. Then using a paper towel, I'm just going to blend in the wax and we're just going to make sure this is stained all around on both sides just in case we see that back side. Now using that same stencil set that I got on Amazon, I'm using the Hello Fall stencil and we're just going to place that on top of our square. And once we've done that, I'm going to use chalk paste in vintage white and we're just going to do a quick squeegee over the top of this stencil. And now we're going to carefully remove the stencil to reveal the beautiful sign. And once this is dry, I'm going to use my finishing wax. I use Jolene's finishing wax. And I'm just going to wipe that over the top there with a lint-free cloth just to seal everything in. Now we'll set that aside to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to grab the original piece and we're going to add some little blocks to the center of this sign. I'm using two of the tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to adhere them using some hot glue. Next, I'm going to grab some wood glue and some hot glue and I'm going to add that to the top of these tumbling blocks. Then we will add the sign on top of those tumbling blocks so it gives it a nice raised look. And while that is drying, I'm going to add an embellishment to the top of this sign. I really like these burlap flowers from the Dollar Tree and I've been buying them in all the different shapes that they have. And we're just going to add a different burlap flower to the top of that sign. So each side has a different flower on it and they look completely different. So it's a fun reversible sign for the fall. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every one of you. Please remember, craft more, stress less.